So we are done with the production cost report for the assembly department. And we did all that work to calculate the cost of the 10,000 units still in process at the end of the accounting period, and the cost of the 40,000 units transferred out of the assembly department into the cutting department. Next, we will create the production cost report for the cutting department. It's key to remember that 40,000 units were transferred into the cutting department. So we just completed the production cost report for the assembly department. Now, to complete the production cost report for the cutting department, we will need this data. So remember, the assembly department glues the puzzle picture to cardboard, then transfers the glued puzzle boards to the cutting department to be cut, and then be placed in the box. We still need a bit more additional data. Glued puzzle boards with pictures are transferred in from the assembly department at the beginning of the cutting department's process. Conversion costs, which are direct labor and manufacturing overhead, are incurred evenly during the cutting department's process. And direct materials, which are the puzzle boxes that the pieces are put in, are added at the very end of the cutting department's process. So now let's talk about the 40,000 units with the $176,000 of costs that were transferred out of the assembly department. Since the cutting department is the next process, that means those same 40,000 units with $176,000 of attached costs are transferred in to the cutting department. So the cutting department has 40,000 units transferred in and the $176,000 of costs are also transferred in. So the definition of transferred in costs is costs that were incurred in a previous process and brought into a later process as part of the product's cost. The first step for preparing the production cost report is summarizing the flow of physical units, the actual puzzles being made. We'll work with the costs later. So here's the information we need for the cutting department for the month of July. To show the flow of physical units, it is easier to visualize the flow if we have a T account for the cutting department's work in process inventory account. Looking at our data, we'll start with the units section. Notice we have 5,000 units in the beginning work in process in this department at the beginning of July. This means at the end of the previous period, June, we had 5,000 incomplete puzzles on June 30th for this department. So we're going to complete these puzzles in July. So in our T account, we place the beginning units here. The next part of our data table says that we must calculate the units started in production. Since this is the second process, the units started are the number of units transferred in from the previous department. Here's a screenshot from our previous slide showing that 40,000 units were transferred in. So these 40,000 units transferred out of the assembly department, the previous process, will be transferred in to this department, the cutting department. The costs are also transferred in, but we are only working with units for now. So the cutting department has to account for three different types of units. Work done last month on the 5,000 partially completed units. Work done this month on the 5,000 partially completed units to finally get them completed. And work done this month on the 40,000 units transferred in during July. As we create the production cost report for the cutting department, we'll be using the weighted average method. This method determines the average cost of each equivalent unit of production by combining beginning inventory costs with current period costs. There is also the FIFO method, but we are only using the weighted average method for now. So in our T account, we place the transferred in units here. And throughout the month, 38,000 puzzles were completed and transferred out to finish goods inventory. In our T account, we place the completed and transferred units here. 
Now we can calculate the ending balance. Mathematically, we had a beginning balance of 5,000 units plus 40,000 units transferred in minus 38,000 units transferred out. So how many units are in our ending balance? 5,000 plus 40,000 minus 38,000 units gives us 7,000 units in the ending balance. Remember, they are still in process at the end of the period because they are incomplete units. Maybe they were cut, but not yet put into the puzzle boxes. So the units to account for are the units in beginning work in process, which was 5,000, plus the units that transferred in from the previous process, which were 40,000 units. So we have to account for a total of 45,000 puzzles or units. And next we have to show where those puzzles went. This is the accounted for amount. As we learned earlier, accounted for is the units transferred out plus the units still in process. 38,000 were transferred out to the next department and 7,000 puzzles were still in process in the cutting department at the end of July. This gives us 45,000 units accounted for. Remember, units to account for and units accounted for have to be the same number, in this case 45,000. So now we can fill out the first part of our production cost report, which is in the lower right corner of the screen. Notice this report is only for the cutting department. Very simply, it shows the units we have to account for and units accounted for. But we'll start with the units to account for. And we can now fill in the beginning work in process in whole units, which was 5,000 units. Next, we fill in the units transferred in during the period, which was 40,000. Then we fill in the total number of units to account for, 45,000. Then we move on to units accounted for, which starts with units completed and transferred out, which was 38,000, and add to that the number of units incomplete, in other words, the ending balance of units. Then we add completed and transferred out units to ending work in process units, and we get 45,000 total units accounted for. Remember, units to account for and units accounted for have to be the same number. So to summarize step one of the production cost report, it shows the units we have to account for. So we take the beginning work in process units and add that to the number of units we started, giving us the total number of puzzles we have to account for, 45,000 units. And where did those puzzles go? Well, 38,000 were transferred out to the cutting department and 7,000 puzzles are still in the cutting department, partially completed as of the end of July.